but it was a person asleep. Yeah. You know, that's, so, that's so much better than her having an accident. So, yeah, people, if you're feeling a little high, feeling a little sleepy or whatever, pull over and sleep it off. I'd rather for you to do that than to be driving the wrong way down the highway. Okay? Because that's how a lot of DUIs happen. Okay? So that's really good that she was pulled over. She was sleeping. You know, they, they you know, got her out of the car and she goes into the police station, smiles for the camera, takes her mug shot and sleep it off. <laughs> pay, pay your bond and leave. So good for her. Still with the Shanisa? Yep, I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 All right. So, um, have you checked out Candy Burris's new show? No, isn't it like Candy and the Gang or something? Yeah, Candy and the Gang, and they said they're like getting into it um, over the gang, over the old lady gang. Have you eaten there? Um, I did eat there one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So a long time. Um, it was okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was okay. It okay. was okay. Yeah. The this, this story is Brand, uh, Bravo's uh, latest Real Housewives of Atlanta restaurant uh, focused spinoff. So the, the whole spinoff is about Candy and the Old Lady Gang restaurant, Candy and the Gang. It debuts Sunday, March 6th. Get your TVs ready. Uh, March 6th at 9 p.m. And the show will succeed. Um, it succeeds Portia Williams, her Portia Family Matters, which I heard was not being picked up for a second season, but okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. And yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, which has been airing. You know, she had all of her drama on the uh, Portia show. But the 14th season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta began production this month. And about six months later than normal, you know, these two spinoff shows are serving as the buffers and, you know, something to hold us over until the mothership Real Housewives returns on air, likely in the late spring. All right. So some people, some people mm. are here for it. And a lot of people are saying, oh, it's run its course. You know, Real Housewives of Atlanta, we're tired of it. But I think it's still enough eyes peeled to the TV for it, for it to last another couple of seasons at least. I don't know. I'm kind of over, you know, a, a lot of these reality shows. I mm -hmm. kind of am. Um, you know, I feel like it's given, you know, different people different opportunities. And that's cool because once you're on some of these shows, you can go off and build your brand. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you don't get too messy on the shows, you know, and you're able to, you know, kind of have some career after it, some kind of career. That's right. But I'm just, like, tired of a lot. Like, I'm tired of Housewives. I'm tired of loving hip-hop. I'm tired of, you know, a lot of the shows because it just seems like, you know, it's only good TV if it's a lot of drama. That's what I don't, that's not what I'm saying, but like reality shows, people watch them for drama. That's what it is. And I feel like, you know, if it's not drama, of course, we're not going to watch. Mm -hmm. But in the meanwhile, at what cost? Like some of the things I see is just, you know, it's just, I mean, some of it's embarrassing. Some of it's like, why are we still doing this? And um, so there, there was, there's a girl that even on social media, I can't think of who it was, but recently she was just like that she thinks of black women, and it's not just black women, but we're portrayed so badly now. Mm -hmm. Like she said that when you look on Instagram, it's all you see is a lot of women just like bent over twerking here and there. And she was like, you would think that was a mandate, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> like she thought about, you know, the mask mandates and all that. She was like, it must be a bend over and twerk mandate, you know, and <laughs> it's just been a lot of things. But I feel like right now I agree because it's just like, I think that women were depicted so bad right now. And, you know, it's been going on and on and on, but I'm tired of seeing women arguing back and forth and, oh, you did this. No, you did that. Throwing drinks. So but, I don't know, but I know at the same time, you're not going to watch it unless there's drama because then you'll yeah. think it's boring. So the funny thing about you know? it, the funny thing about it is that the black woman is still the most imitated woman in the world. So while, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of black women twerking and some of us cringe at it, but then all of the young white girls are trying to twerk. You know, they're trying to, they're getting BBLs to, to look like us and be able to twerk their butt like the black girls that they see and even the lingo. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're fighting, they're arguing, it's drama. But, you know, all the words that they're using, then other races are out there using it. That's You know what I mean? You know, I think it's just a little bit of all of it because, you know, like, we can say, oh, you know, 
we we can say, okay, you know, some white women want to get tans and want to do this. But then, you know, you also have the argument of, you know, they could say, okay, well, black women are walking around with long, straight weaves, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just kind of, you know, I don't know. But right now, like I said, I, I, I was in Vegas, my best friend and I. And we were in the hotel, and we start. We, neither one of us watched Love and Basketball, or, or no, Basketball Wife. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. And we start watching it. It was so much drama. Do you know we stood there watching it? We're in Vegas in a hotel room. We could be doing anything in Vegas. Mm-hmm. We're in a hotel room for four hours watching oh, it because we goodness. couldn't stop. <laughs> you were, you were compelled. You were compelled. We should have been having margaritas, but it shows how drawn we are. Mm-hmm. We're so drawn to the drama. To, the cleaning lady came in because we had a suite. The cleaning lady came in. She was cleaning. She stopped and started watching uh-huh. it. Like I'm like, this is crazy, oh, you know. But it's like we love, you know, the drama. Nobody will watch it without the drama. But then a mm-hmm. lot of the stuff I see is really embarrassing. Yeah. And you know, and as much as black women, it's, I mean, because on these how white shows, it's you know, white women, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I just feel like women in general right now feel like, you know, we're doing the most. We need to just calm it down. Every time I look at a reality show, people are throwing stuff and doing this, that, and that. But <laughs> guess what? Drinks. I'm the same person that's going to watch it and mm. not walk away. <laughs> if, so it's just kind of, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. But so, I would like to say um, this really quick. Regina Hall, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Hall, Regina King. Yeah. Um, Man, I just feel so bad for her. Um, you know, with her son committing suicide at 26 mm. years old. Yeah. That and, is- you know, I have a quick story about Regina. Like, I absolutely love her. She is one of the sweetest people in the entire world. I hate that her family is going through this. When we were younger, um, she went to the hospital with me. I have a friend who um, her niece was shot, um, mm-hmm. but with a sawed-off shotgun. Um, basically her brother was into some things he shouldn't have been in. Some guys came to the house to, uh, shoot him. He wasn't there. Um, so my friend's niece answered the door, which was his sister. Mm -hmm. And she said he wasn't there. And the guy said, well, you'll do. And he shot her with a sawed off shotgun. Oh my goodness. And she lived, she was in a hospital and Regina's grandmother and my grandmother were friends at church. They were friends through church and everything. Mm -hmm. And so we were both at church with our grandmothers. This was a long time ago before she even had her son, but we were both at church and we were talking. I told her what happened and she didn't know the family. She didn't know. She was like, I want to go with you to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, you know, so Regina came with me to the hospital to see my friend's niece. She prayed with her for hours. She talked about, it was around Christmas time. Right. She talked about, um, you know, God talked about, I mean, she just talked about so much. And, like, nobody could even believe that she was there, you know, I mean, because she didn't know the girl, but she was just like, I want to go. She was just an amazing person. Mm-hmm. And she kept in touch with the family for years and years and years and was still sent. You know, um, my friends needs different stuff, autograph stuff, or just all our movie things. And, it, you know, it was just really nice. But so I just hate what she's going through right now. And I just, my heart goes out to her. I've been thinking about it ever since the death. And, um, you know, it's just sad. You never know what people are struggling with. And that's why, you know, I I like when celebrities do talk about mental health, you know, mental health and awareness, because so many people are out here struggling and don't have different avenues, or you think that their life is perfect, like, oh, you know, your mother's Regina King, or, you know, this, that, or the other. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what people are really struggling with. And if you go to my website, ACL Media Pass, I put on there some of his tweets um, that he had started. He tweeted within the last couple days before he passed away. Yeah. And, you know, it was really sad because nobody would know this was the outcome. But when you look back, and you see, you know, like he posted, he said, Instagram really isn't healthy for me. You know, mm-hmm. um, this was, was two days before he took his life. And it was another, like, I, I just posted a couple of them. And he was definitely going through some things. And um, I just feel really bad for her. She's an amazing person. I don't know her ex-husband, um, but I'm sure he's, you know, devastated. But mm-hmm. I don't know. Rest in peace to him. It was just a really sad situation. Yeah, absolutely. The statement that she put out was, our our family is devastated at the deepest Mm -hmm. 
level. Kind of a bright light. Uh-huh, by the loss of Evan. I'm sorry, by uh, loss of Ian. And the statement read, he is such a bright light who cared so deeply about the happiness of others. Our family asks for respectful consideration during this private time. Thank you. And it was going to be his 26th birthday. Um, yeah. It was this Wednesday, right? And then uh, he was her only it's child. It's really sad. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, it's just, it's, then you have to deal with, now people are saying, oh, she sacrificed her son, you know, they want to bring up the Illuminati, they want to uh, bring up yeah. Hollywood, they want to, like, so even still, after you go through something like that, you just have to step away from social media, mm -hmm. because you will hear a lot of different things like that, but I hope she did get to see so many celebrities, Holly Berry was one, I mean, there are so many celebrities that, the attributes to, you know, mm -hmm. Regina, like Post up there, you know, talked about a lot of different things, letting her know they love her and everything else. So I hope that those outweigh, like, you know, any of this other stuff that people are out here saying, mm -hmm. because, um, you know, it's just really sad and it's unfortunate. And I actually put up some different videos on Facebook and on Instagram, too, I think. And it was just the way she looked at her son. Like, you could tell that was her heart, you know? Mm -hmm. And he was just so happy to be there with her, you know? Like, they were just, seemed like a really good, you know, mom and son team. And, you know, it's just really sad. So Definitely. just wanted to throw that in there and just keep her in your prayers. Yeah, absolutely. We have lost a lot of, um, you know, important celebrities, you know, a lot of uh, people that we hold dear to our hearts in 2022. Of course, Sidney Poitier and the fashion um, expert who used to talk about the red carpet, um, Andre Talley. He used to be on the red carpet back when uh, Joan Rivers were, was, alive, was alive. They would both do it and uh, critique everybody's outfits. And he's just, he was a staple in the fashion industry. And then we lost Terry Mugler. Um, he's also a big designer. And Virgil, I think that was this year. We love Betty White. Yeah, yeah, that was that. Like, yeah, that was Betty the was end mine. of 2021. Mm -hmm. That was everybody's great aunt. Yes, great aunt. <laughs> Betty White, I really upset Hollywood. Mm hmm for sure. So, yeah, we have those deaths. So uh, rest in peace to all of those people. Our, our condolences go out to their families. Our deepest condolences. Um, they are really going through a hard time right now. And also, you know, Megan Good going through her divorce. Um, she, she speaks on how it is the hardest thing that she has ever had to go through right now. So her heart is breaking. And, you know, she, so she's like, it's, it's harder than any other breakup. And of course it is because it wasn't just a boyfriend and girlfriend situation. And this was a marriage and they were really invested in one another and she said she thought it was right. going to last forever she had no idea that um it would come to an end the way that it did and then social media has that love and hate you know relationship with these celebrities because now people are putting that book that megan and her husband has mm -hmm. together you know i guess it's about marriage and everything and so now that their marriage is you know falling apart and done yeah like people are putting that book everywhere like what do we do with this now you know so it's just like you have to deal with when you're a celebrity you have to deal with what you have to deal with and you have to deal with what the public is going to say about you it's sad but it's true that's right you know so all that stuff like who wants to see a book of her and her husband you know where somebody's like guess it won't be you know go to the trash now you know so yeah, give it you, know, you have to deal with what you have going on and then everybody's perception of what they think you have going on. Mm hmm But yeah, people um, really just have to find their own way. And so putting the celebrities up on a pedestal and saying, I'm just going to be just like them. I'm going to do everything that they do. You never know what's going on behind the scenes. So you really have to stay prayed up and focus on yourself and focus on uh, improving yourself, making yourself better. Uh, to be in a marriage, of course, and, you know, connecting the dots. So trying to follow someone else's steps and even, you know, going by every page in their book. I'm going to read every word. I'm going to do everything they said. It does, it does, it may not work for you. And people need to realize that. And the same with um, looking at social media. Um, don't, don't take all of this so seriously. Don't internalize what you're seeing. So some people are saying, you know, of course, with what happened, he was saying that um, Instagram, 
or social media was not healthy for him. And so when you find that to be the case, turn it off. Absolutely. You need some downtime from uh, looking at social media, from uh, listening to, you know, watching the celebrities on TV for four hours straight and things like that. You have to have a time where you clear your mind and meditate and find things out for yourself, you know, find out who you are as a person. So if people stop, Mm -hmm. you know, trying to define themselves through others in in any form, you know, the celebrities or say an author or whatever, as long as they stop doing that, they'll be all right. (laughs) That's my advice for the day. (laughs) But let's move on to, um, yes. Oh, I was going to say, are there any events that listeners and viewers, um, are there any events coming up soon that you know about? That we can tell them about or anything? Um, like no, what, or anything? Okay, what's happening uh, right now is that they are announcing the Hall of Fame. So I'm excited mm-hmm. about that. It's the uh, Major League Baseball, MLB, is announcing their Hall of Fame right now as we speak. That started at 6. I don't want to start off the show with that because I wanted you all to listen to me. So, <laughs> all right, so I want you all to listen to me and shop Lisa. But the, um, I'm hoping that Sammy Sosa gets inducted this time. This is the last round for him. This is his last shot. He will not have another time after this. Also on the ballot is uh, Alex Rodriguez. Is Sammy Sosa the one um, that people were saying bleached his skin? Yeah, not just saying it. Okay. <laughs> he did it. He, he showed a picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a side by side picture of before and after. They were two completely I thought different so, people. But, you mm-hmm. know, I yeah. don't ever know if things are altered because I, so I, I was about to say petty media. Social media <laughs> is so petty. All right. But yeah. hey, hey, versus battle. Dr. Dre is trying to get a potential Eminem, um, yeah, somebody for him to, you know, square up with. Who do you think could be meet Eminem on stage? I'm thinking Busta Rhymes. That's all I can come up with. Uh, yeah, Busta Rhymes and Twister, though. Twister is, uh, he can rap as fast as Eminem because what Eminem posted was how he can rap super fast. He's going like 90 miles a minute or 100 miles a minute with his, uh, yeah. you know, with his tongue. Yeah, I so, want to know. And to, to, yeah. Ray wants to know. He said, who's going to meet Masses? Yeah. What is his name? Um, Matthew Mathers or something. Is yeah, his real name. name. Like, uh uh-huh, Matthew who's Mathers. Who's going to meet him on the stage? I would love to see a versus with Eminem. I love how, you know, this whole, it started two years ago, um, this versus battle stuff. We thought it was just going to be a couple months during the pandemic. Yeah. It has gone on to a full production. Um, you know, they actually sold it and it's becoming bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. And I love that we're getting to see all of our favorite celebs go toe to toe with other people, you know, that were out at the same time, same music style. And, you know, I forgot about some of these people. I'm not going to lie, but I'm loving it. And we'll also get to see Eminem, Dre, Mary J, all of them at the Super Bowl, too. So I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. Exactly. So which act are you uh, most excited for out of the lineup? I don't the know. Bowl? Just all of it. I'm here for all of it. I want every bit <laughs> of it. Like, nothing. I, like, I don't know. I'm just excited about the whole thing. I can't wait to see what, you know, they come up with. I love Super Bowl halftime. Uh-huh. So actually, sometimes I love those more than the actual game. I'm there for the commercials and for the halftime show. So I'm excited to see that. But, um, you know, I, I can't wait to see this next versus either. So All right. So my best friend, Gwen, she just sent me a text saying it's Marshall Math- uh, Matthews. Mathers. Mathers. Yes, Marshall yes. Mathers. <laughs> Look, if I could read the text. Marshall Mathers. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's Eminem's real And, you know, name. I kind of forgot about Eminem some, but, you know, I always follow what's going on with his daughter, you know, mm-hmm. Haley. But I kind of I forgot about him a little bit, so I had to go all over Facebook and put the video everywhere. And, um, you know, a lot of people think he's a clone. You know, we still got that stuff going around because mm-hmm. it looks a little different. But um, Eminem still got it. He still got it. Okay. Well, yeah, so we are close to wrapping it up, but um, back on the Hall of Fame, um, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, is up on the ballot. Jennifer Lopez, act. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I wonder what Jennifer Lopez is thinking right now. Does she really want to be by his side if he gets, um, you know, go no, ahead and get inducted? On. Jennifer moves on. Ah, she, <laughs> look, look, she circled back to uh, Ben Affleck real quick, so... She might yeah, be thinking about think that old A-Rod. thing. Like, yeah, I could be right up there with yeah. him while he's being in It's that when we look at somebody like, like 
A-Rod has mm -hmm. had an amazing career. He's, yeah. you know, he's a great athlete, everything. Mm -hmm. But then when I talk to him, I'd be like, you know, Jennifer Lopez is ex. <laughs> like, that's funny. Yeah. That's how I <laughs> that's talk how about him. I'm my, <laughs> my girls and my <laughs> singers and actresses and everything and, and put them on their shoulders. But I'm like, oh, yeah, Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez is ex. Uh -huh. That's how I just thought. But no, A-Rod's a great, he's a great athlete, great, great uh -huh. businessman. All right. So um, he should definitely... Okay, so we do need to wrap it up. Um, shout out to uh, Candy's Restaurant, and uh, it's next to Escobar in the Castleberry area. You all should go visit it. Uh, also, Freddie O's T-shirts is out there. Uh, and also with uh, Tasha K, she's fallen out with her people now. So one of her protégés, his name is Storm Monroe, and now they're battling each other. So it's a big fallout now for Tasha K. So we'll keep you posted Tasha on that. Tasha K, the blogger? Yeah, yeah, her protégé now. They're they're in a battle. <laughs> so they're like, well, people, people want to disassociate themselves with her maybe. Oh, uh, well, you know, Nick, she, she got them to the drama because she was supporting Nikki against Cardi. So a lot of people are wondering if the Barbs, you know, Nikki's girls, the Barbs, if they're going to come and help Sasha right about now. Oh, but no. We'll see. And, and they're not. So... <laughs> a, little, a little extra added That's there, right. but... Nope, the Barbs are not going to help her. I already know. So I'll keep you posted on that as well. Let's wrap it up. My name is Sonia. You can find me at She Show Out Media on all platforms. And let's hear what they can find you at, Shanisa. Oh, hey, guys. Shanisa White on Facebook. Um, ATL Media Pass on Instagram. I also have been going in updating my site, ATL Media Pass. And I'll be there next Tuesday as long as I don't have COVID. <laughs> but I think isolation is just five days, even if, you know, I did. So I would be able to be back. Yeah. But I feel good. But I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Definitely. Thank you for listening to the Power 108.9 Behind the Scenes of Hollywood. <laughs>